Okay, let's have a look at a practice question in the numerical reasoning section involving ratios. And it goes like this. Chook Chook Farm is a beautiful little hobby farm in Baronia, <coughs> unlikely. It's owned by Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The farm has three little chicken sheds with seven chooks in each. The ratio of white to brown chooks is three to four. Each morning, these little cuties lay a single egg each. One morning, Mr. Smith went out to collect the eggs from the sheds. He noticed that half of the eggs laid by the brown chooks were broken, so he tossed those aside. Now, neither, neither of the Smiths enjoy the eggs laid by the white chooks, so they generously share those eggs with their three neighbours each day. Of the remaining brown chook eggs collected, Mr. and Mrs. Smith were able to split those down the middle, so to speak, and enjoy half each for their morning breakfast. How many eggs do Mr. and Mrs. Smith each have to enjoy for their breakfast? All right, so let's take a look at how we work this uh, question out. And we know that what we were given were three uh, chook sheds. And these are not very well built by the look of it, are they? And each chook sh shed had seven chickens. Now, remember the ratio between uh, white and brown was three to four, a ratio of three to four. Okay, so it's not gonna take long to realize that if you added up the number of chooks in each shed, clearly you're gonna have a total of 21 chickens, and we know that they laid one egg each per day, so 21 eggs a day. Now, it's really easy to start looking over here and trying to figure out how many white chooks there might be or how many brown ones, but it's really important to keep your focus here on just one group or one shed in this case. Now, if, if all we had was three white chickens and four brown chickens, we would have a total of seven chooks. Okay, so that's where you need to start in terms of focusing on the ratios. Now, what we also know based on that information is that for every other seven chooks, so in other words, each shed, we're also gonna have a ratio of three to four. And of course, the same with this last one, the ratio of three to four. Now, just like we did when we added up each of the sheds to get to 21, I mean, you could simply do the same thing. There's three, six, nine white chooks. And there are four, eight, 12 brown chooks. I mean, you could do it that way. Um, or the other thing you could do, given that there are three sheds, is you could simply multiply by three. So three multiplied by three, given there are three white chooks in this shed, and there are three sheds, three by three would mean in total we have nine, three, six, nine white chooks. And if we multiplied the brown chooks, which is four, also by three, that would equal 12. Okay, so in total we should have nine white chooks and 12 brown chooks. If that's right, and we added them together, we would end up with a total of 21. Okay, so now we've got some figures, we can move on to the next part of the question. So let me make some space here so we can do that. So I might, uh, uh, we'll just leave that there so we can see the nine and the 12. I might just put a little line here. All right, so with that information now, it says in the question that Mr. Smith went out to collect the eggs and he noticed that half of the brown eggs were broken, so he tossed them away. So half the brown eggs, half of them, if I divide it by two, would be six and he threw those away. All right, well that changes things a little bit. We now still have nine white uh, chook eggs, but now given we've thrown half of them away, we now only have six brown chook eggs. All right, it then goes on to say that neither of the Smiths enjoy the eggs that are laid by the white chooks. So they gave those away to their neighbors, to their three neighbors. So here's our white chooks, gave them away. He's got three neighbors probably makes sense that he gave them three each, so three, six, nine. Not that that's what the question's about, but I imagine that's what's happened. And so now, if we move up a little bit, we're left with the brown eggs, and we have six of them. All right, and then the rest of the question was, uh, let's see, I'm just reading off to the side here. Uh, they gave away three to their neighbors. All right, so of the remaining brown chooks collected, Mr. and Mrs. Smith were able to split those down the middle, so to speak, and enjoy half each for their morning breakfast. All right, so split it down the middle, divide it by two, 
half each equals three. So the answer to the question is that they each have three eggs to enjoy for their breakfast. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.